Look who we have here. Big surprise, Maniacs, you'll never guess. The ripped freak himself, <laughs> Robzilla. I think you gotta, I think you gotta do it that There you way. go. How you doing, Maniacs? It's been a lot of inquiries, Rob, on my lives. How's Robzilla doing? How's Robzilla? Well, uh, I'm doing okay. I can't, I can't complain, but I won't complain. It's just, you know, just That's a big physical just... difference. Look at those cool muscular, the steel cord forearms. Yeah, right. Look I'm, at the definition. I'm probably down to like two, last time I got weighed was 224 pounds. And if I'm not mistaken, the main, the last film we both did was the wrestling event. Yeah. Which is before Labor Day of last year. Over a year ago. So you were close to 280 in that. Two, yeah, close, yeah. 290. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, the, the heat. Working in the heat every day out here will do that to you. And I haven't even, I haven't even trained. I hate to say it, but we been working like eight to eight and eight in the morning till eight at night. Yeah, it's brutal. Wow. It's um, I talked to Brad about it all the time, and it varies by office depending yeah. on what office that you're at. Some of them are like he, he's got a, he's earned it though because he's been there for a while. Some of them have easier routes with less volume I'm in like the worst of the worst where it's 12 hour days and it's wow you know, some days 300 400 packages which doesn't sound like a lot packages because compared to weights you know it's letters. we're not talking those little circulars or letters we're talking we're talking big parcels 70 pounds max that's my new that's my new max out 70 pounds on it <laughs> so my new max out is the 70 pounds Oh, so they can't do any package over 70. Over set, uh, right, US, uh, yeah, they can't do anything over 70. But, uh, that's my new workout. I just, I put, put the windows up for the noise. So it must be great cardiovascular. You look like a different person. Yeah, it is. Uh, cardio, d definitely, definitely. Just because you're busy, you're nonstop. You're just, you're just going all day and think about it. Most bodybuilders, when you train, you're only, tra you train, you, yeah, you train hard for an hour, but just doing normal activities all day on your feet for 12, 13 hours, you know, constantly moving around, walking upstairs, doing things like that. Although it's not much, I feel like it, it equates, you know, it's equivalent and, uh, I haven't gotten to Brad's level yet. Brad's able to train in the morning and then go right to work. I have not gotten there yet. Yeah, I, but you're, the hours you're doing is I gotta be what? Uh, Much more than Brad. Yeah, he, like his office, they, they say everybody be back by six o'clock. Ours is eight o'clock, so. God. You know, because everybody has so much, but. Uh, yeah, that he, he trains before, but um, I have a hard enough time getting to work as it is in the morning. I'm, right. I'm, I'm not a morning person, so. But I'll give you credit. That's pretty good dedication to your to your job, Rob. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's what I've learned though is you know once you, I just feel like you get stuck in that rat race because everybody has it in. Not everybody. Some people are content with it. Some people make, some people make over a hundred grand just being a mail carrier, and they have easy curbside routes where they go in. All they got to do is their one route every single time. So it's the same. So we're not mentioning for, any names here, but some people have easy routes, like two in particular. Yeah. I wouldn't mention <laughs> their names, of course. Yeah, I don't know anything about uh, Sticker Boys routes, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the other certain someone, I know he's got he's got a nice easy one that we'll compare some days. I'll send him pictures of my truck, and he'll send me his, and he just wants he just rubs it in. Interesting. I, no, he doesn't. Let me it. ask you this, Rob. Do you also compare <laughs> naked pictures of your women? <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that. Because I think <laughs> so and so would rub it out if you get on trip <laughs> if he saw that. Yeah, even though he's only got 10 packages and I got 300, he'd be rubbing it out so much. He wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't even deliver three. <laughs> so by the time Brad does his 
10 packages and rubs it out, I'm, <laughs> I'm done with my 400, so. Wow. Um, no, if there's that many, they'll have a split, but it's definitely, I thought it was going to be just like any, anybody else. You see the mailman, it's like, man, that's a, that looks like a great job. He's just cruising around. Yeah. And for some people it is. If you, if you got a nice, easy office, it is a great job, but if you got a busy one, it's a, it's a lot, but you know. It's just so different than anything I've ever done. Like, you know me, I've always kind of marched to the beat of my own drum. So Definitely. It's, so it's, it's very structured and regimented. Yeah, right. Very, and... Uh, Do you get calls all day, or you have, a, have to have a company phone on you? Well, my phone, but yeah, calling all day. Where, yeah, I need you to finish up so you can go help this person or that person, so... Do they have, like, UPS from my FedEx, when I understand it? Some sort of tracker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're tracked all day, which isn't a problem. I don't, I don't really, I don't, screw, I don't have any time to screw around. <laughs> I take the the bigger, the longer routes because um, then they're not. If you have an easy route and they know that you can be done at two o'clock, some people will try to play it off and hide until like you know five o'clock. But if they know that you're going to be done by two, if you take an easy one, they'll start planning things for you before you're even done so I'd rather I take the bigger ones so that I know if they're calling me it's to help me and that's the other way around so I understand yeah. so how's everything been going with you well it's not the same you know since we were training together I, I'll course, say that yeah. since we were but there. it's we it's strange it's been a year over a year it, it's crazy how time yeah so uh, and then even stranger not being up to Brad's since August of last year yeah, I guess. I haven't even seen him in over a year, which is even more strange, so. You haven't seen him in over a year? No, not since August. And that's when Dale was here, so. Last misfit you saw was Andrew, right? Yes, he came in the hospital. And of course, Mike T, which is like a pseudo misfit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> a pseudo strip club going misfit. He's, he's the strip club, strip club funder of the misfits. <laughs> But he still, you know, maybe work once a week, pick up a truckload of blueberries, drop them off, get about 10 grand, you know. So he's actually training each body part twice a week because oh, wow. he has so much free time, he says. I have no idea where I'm going. Is there, what's up here? What's this place? Oh, you're going north. I may want to turn around. You turn around. So we could do both. Um... I really gotta head back around like 3, 3.30, but I was thinking if you want to go to like, uh, if Publix or anywhere has any like good specials or if Yeah, they do actually. Publix does? Yeah, they got a ground chuck. You buy big quantities, they put them in the freezer, Three forty nine a pound. Okay, is there one up here? No, it's back there, the one. I appreciate it, Rob, thanks. Yeah, no, well, I need it for myself too, so. Yeah, you can't beat dog. that deal. Yeah. The dog. How's the dog working out? The, Sleeping in your bed? The dog is, oh, of course. The dog, the dog is the best, one of the best decisions I've ever, I mean, some days I may say otherwise, but having a dog is great because, you know, people suck. You know, yeah. With, uh, people suck, but the dog's always excited to see him. I, I spoil him. He won't, he won't eat dog food. He eats whatever I eat. He eats like That's good, healthy, fresh. He eats basically uh, ground meat, eggs. Nice. Um, like say, say if we have fish for dinner, he'll have that. We'll have steak. And I'm such a sucker, like say I make a, a big steak. Um, he eats faster than me, so I'll end up giving him most of it. <laughs> Does he eat chicken? He, uh... Luckily for Jay Masters' sake, he doesn't eat chicken. So. <laughs> so have you been following social media lately, Rob? You have time? Yeah, or? Of, of course. Yeah, of course. Um, of course, I'll always follow it. I, I see what do you think on. about that powerhouse gym? I kind of think uh, I feel bad for Tim about the regulations they got to go through just to open a gym. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm sure that's it's rough. Yeah. Then I feel bad about him being harassed, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't think he normally would have cared, but he wanted that gym open before, you know, in September. 
and who knows when it'll open with all those rules and regulations, but. Now, why do you think that is? Why do you think they're trying to hold them back? Just a Delray zoning committee. You gotta have so many restrooms, so many toilets, this uh, handicapped parking. Well, maybe that's why they're not letting so-and-so sign up, because they're gonna need an extra two toilets. <laughs> no. And a chicken coop out back. No, well, I don't want, I don't want to know. Hey, he's, he's not drinking, good for him, you know? He's... I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you take a look at his cheeks lately. A lot of people, it shows in their cheeks. Because that holds a lot of water after a night of heavy boozing, you know? Yeah, well... Well, say he's got a pumpkin face, so I don't know. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. And somebody showed me a picture of his fingers. It looked like he had nicotine burns on the side of him. Nah, no, I, I bet you he's good. He's... He's good. Otherwise, he seems dedicated to just training and doing what he's doing, you know? Yeah. But... Been watching After Hours every week. How about you? Yeah, yeah, they've been having some good shows on. Uh, this one in particular, I, that doesn't surprise me about the Mannions, but I think that's a lot of sour grapes from the women. Yeah. It's like nobody's forcing himself on you. It just gets, gets so out of hand with that. Uh, yeah, I can't just... Mr. G's overwhelming contributions every week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But... It's still entertaining, I mean... Yeah, I like the old-time Gold's Gym stories. I like Dave. Dave just is a, always just trying to make it fun, you know? Yeah, he had a good art, uh, guru talk out there. Did you see that about aromatase inhibitors? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was astonishing. The guy was saying, hey, don't... Under no circumstances, they're almost poisonous. Really? Yes. Because you need estrogen. Yeah, he was... Big time. I didn't listen to uh, I didn't listen to the full thing, but um, one thing I have done that uh, I've already told you about it, but I did go to a doctor and get the prescribed testosterone, Good. and I was making a huge deal about the Arimidex. So now here and now, you, you're saying I shouldn't take it? No. And I've heard that before. You need that estrogen for a healthy heart or lipids. He talks about what that lack of estrogen does to your vessels and capillaries. It's yeah. absolutely terrifying. If you think about it, strong men aren't dying. Huh? Power lifters aren't dying. It's bodybuilders. And they're the one using the AI. Some of them take it religiously, even with TRT. Which that one gentleman on there said it was absolutely ridiculous to take your all this Uh, Who was that? I don't. I forget his name. There's there another guy, the guy yeah, yeah. with the glasses. But I've, you know, they obviously. I remember taking letrozole, no sex drive. I felt horrible. You in a bad mood? I heard Novadex makes people depressed. Yeah. I tell you what. I'll be honest. I took uh, that free amino acid fen. I took it last Friday. Yeah. The six small scoops that's in there, which is like not even a teaspoon, and I did get some withdrawals for the first time. Ugh. After this, which, which you know, it was just, I wasn't expecting it because the first time I've taken it, but yeah, it was. It was like, wow, this is not good, but you know, I was able to do what I needed to do. Right. Uh, I'm going to take it tomorrow. I'll start the training cycle again. It's been two on, one off. Uh, you know, lower dosage is, you know, the strength's just not there like it used to be, but I think I can get back up. Yeah, the, that's the one thing holding me back from Fenibut is just remembering what it was like. Yeah, yeah. The withdrawals. At and least. I thought, well, this is. But I was taking a small dose. You know, I, I figure I need a. But you know, if I'm taking it once a week, like a teaspoon, that's nothing compared to what I used to do. Once a week, yeah, that's. I used to do five days a week, about five or six teaspoons a day. You might feel a little uh, off the next day, but nothing. Made, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Not that that. That anxiety is uh, the killer. Yeah, not be able to move or want to move. It's probably from uh, your GABA being depleted. Oh, I'm sure. Or, or your serotonin. All right, let's, let's check out what they got. It's a remodel, which they need to. Yeah. It'll be closed for a couple months soon. What's up with this heat? 
I know. I was like dying. I'd, I'd shave my body because of it. Yeah, I'm drunk. It is. It's just. It's like we we got away from summer and then it no, came it came back worse. No, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's. And you know why? It's not. I'm not feeling any breeze either. That's the thing. There's usually a breeze. Yeah. Yeah, you're dripping. Dripping. You drip every day, though, don't you? I do. Yeah. You know, everybody comes up to me. They just, is that sweat? Is that <laughs> are you Robzilla or Dripzilla? <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been doing for fun, Rob? Is it the cookie cutters like to call it? There is no fun. I know. As I was thinking, God, it's like you're in the you're in, a, in the military. That, that's it. You just work. Get home. By the time I get home, walk the dog, eat, shower, go to sleep. But it's that's all it. downhill from here, though, right? I mean, eventually you'll. Get some yeah, more free right, time. Right. Good. Yeah. Um, other than that, just uh, same thing as you. Just listening to stuff online, and yeah, you know, I turn my phone so I can't see the light. Just trying to learn, learn God knows what. But I'm still taking stuff. I'm still, you know. What is your current stack, Rob? I, I get the, the prescription stuff from the doctor, and then I... How much uh, is that? Would it cost? What do they allow? Milligram dosage. 200 a week. And listen to this. Even without insurance, the, the I have insurance, but because I didn't want to let my levels crash to show low testosterone on, on paper, insurance won't cover it. Even without insurance, uh, 10 milliliters is still same as street price. It's fifty-six dollars. Great. And it's uh. But do you notice any difference, or are you pretty much? A little. At the first week I did, but um, not much, not much. But I would recommend it because there are times now when I look back and think back that. I was having horrible symptoms. That was probably when I had a bottle that was, you know, out of maybe the 50 bottles that I ever had, at least a couple of them were bunk, you know? Yeah. So it's good to have the, that consistently, but no, I don't I don't notice much of a difference as far as uh, some of the better stuff that you can get. Yeah. yeah. So those eight, those, that, that lasted you almost a year. You've just been doing one, I'm only doing like 500 milligrams of test. Now, I'm up to dosage. But that's pretty much it. Yeah. But that, I'm just using what I have to run it, it runs out. I just, that causes a lot of water retention. It causes a, you know, I'm just experimenting with it. But. Do you have uh, diuretics? I do, but I rarely use it. It works though. I'm able to breathe and and move around better, but I just think that is unnecessary, right? I don't know. For me, for my left ejection fraction, it's it's hard to pump the blood through. But you know me experimenting, and like I said, I haven't taken a pre-workout caffeine or caffeine at all in over a year. I've been taking GHB or 1.4 in over a year, yeah. which obviously ran out of it. Of course, I'd like to get some. That was great. Well, we uh, might have to talk off camera. But just yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, Any other nootropics that you've looked into or recommends? Yeah, let's put it here. Remember, they can't. Nobody can assault you. They're charged with crimes against the U.S. Postman. <laughs> Didn't Tom say that? You yeah. Put a hand on me. You're, you'll get federal charges, like 30 years minute. So. <laughs> you hear that, challengers? Yeah, exactly right. 30 years minimum of thinking of why you should have been my friend. What is this, J Masters heads for sale? Jay know. does a set. His face is that color. Plus, he's already got the shape. <laughs> and he's only 296 with a pumpkin head like that. I didn't get my head like that till I was 380. So don't go telling me you're in good shape, Masterson.
his mom should set up a table with a hole in it where he just sits out there and you know, he put a little stock on his head, paint his face a little orange as a jack-o'-lantern. You wouldn't need one. Oh Maybe put a candle in his mouth. Oh boy. Hey, he's 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 kept his word with me. He hasn't mentioned my name, so I won't contribute. Well, but... he knows that you're close to where he's at, so. Oh, I'm trying to track him down at the gym. Might take a bus ride over to the El Rey Del Rey five in the morning. It'll make a little surprise <laughs> live. But I see you start going to other gyms, so he's very, he's very slippery. He's like yeah, he's like a mobster. Yeah. <laughs> you should call him Jason Francis. <laughs> so I, I talked to McLeod. He's on a uh, on his way to an AEW show. They pay his flight. They pay his hotel. They pay. That's. Does he have to have a roommate, or does he get his own room? His own room. That's pretty cool. Yeah. As the cookie cutters would say, cool. But yeah. that's, pre that's pretty, uh... Adam. Yeah. You know, not, you don't have to acknowledge this or make a response, but Adam, get on the TRT. Or at least... I think it'll make a big difference? At least talk to Rob. His... his I think it'll make a, bit, a huge difference in everything he does. I do too, but for some reason, I, I, I don't think he'll do it. You know, I respect that and all this and that, but I truly believe he would probably be good on 10 or 20 pounds of solid muscle. And he yeah. can maintain that with a reasonable dosage and not really age. And I think at that point, who knows, they might have him getting into some of the ring work. Yeah, and, right, right. Know, yeah. Because a lot of those guys' receptors are burned up, used and abused. Yeah. And Adam really isn't, you know, like some of them popping painkillers. So he's should have a good anabolic drive for him. That's a, right, right. Just my two cents, Adam. Yeah. Modern day Winston Churchill. Check, to be honest, it exploded on me. What the fuck? Yeah, look, look at that. Ooh. Are you still getting out of the landing? No, I just get on the sun. But your legs are darker than... Yeah, I know. I think it's... <laughs> might be um well yeah well i wear long shorts so that's probably why but i kind of think you know the lack of blood flow yeah the circulation so it's just you know i just got to keep moving but to tell you the truth at the end of the night i can't feel my feet it's like really numb so. well that's that's uh not anything that you do about that yeah, I try to get better circulation going. But you take a uh, baby aspirin every day? No, I don't. I don't. I'm trying, I don't take anything. I'm just. The only thing I take is a test and the insulin. And I wish I can go off that. To tell you the truth. Yeah. I get it at Walmart. What about that semaglutide stuff you sent me? I, I looked into it. It looks promising. Yeah, it's it's for diabetic. I could get it because I've spoken to Mike. Yeah. Uh, but it kills your appetite. I don't want that. Uh, yeah, it's like but... Fentermine. I used to kill my appetite, but you get a good buzz off that. It's fentamine tablets. Yeah. But I think you have enough willpower to push through it. Yeah. You know? But I don't... Sometimes I think I gotta eat more, but I haven't even been eating any sweets at all. Nothing. So, uh, you also sent me, um... PJ's article that was pretty cool. Yeah. You know, he, it's good to hear that he, in a way, in his own way, found God and is talking like that. I, I, I didn't know he was Catholic. I thought he was Jewish. But I, I guess that is a German name. I wasn't sure, but yeah, I wasn't sure either. I didn't think he was Jewish. Not but, that it matters. But. No, no, but. Yes, uh, I'm hearing rumors that Aaron's probably going to get out in less than a year. But PJ's still gonna have to do about three. That's kind of upsetting to me. Yeah, what? Because Aaron worked with them? Or? That's right. Yeah. yeah. So he's a. I don't want to say it. But... 
They're gonna have to change it to Ratcon One. <laughs> All right, this is a this is a deal. You know, you can make your burgers, your tacos, your spaghetti and meat sauce. You can make meatloaf with it. Ground chuck, which has a lot of fat. It's 80-20, but that lean ground beef is the ground soylent is not as palatable. It's hard to chew. Yeah. Right. So at three forty nine a pound in a recession, you can't beat this. So Rob's gonna get a couple too, right? Yeah. Yeah, tell the uh, tell the guy like yesterday. I did a thing in here and I started screaming. Meat department. Like <laughs> <laughs> Why? They ran out? Meat department. Meat department. Meat department. Yeah, yeah can I have some, uh, that ground chuck and a large... Yeah, I'm going to take that too, but could you get, uh, one more? Oh, this, yeah. this is How the many last you want? One? Yeah, uh, yeah, as many, maybe at least another, like, uh, at least, what do you got there, three? Yeah, this is enough to fit my freezer because of mine. That's it? You can't fit any more? No, she got this. She doesn't have a separate freezer. The freezer she bought, it's just no, no room. He's going to bring them out? Yeah. How many do you want? Well, we'll see what he gets. Maybe, like, another four, another wow. four of them. Yeah. That's all you, you got do. a freezer, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm pretty much going to get. We're I usually come every day because I got to go to the bathroom. So when I do a live, yeah. Or when I don't, I'm out to the gym. I, I got to come here and use the bathroom. What do you mean? Like you? I'll come along, walk the bike out front, I'll get off the bus. So what do you do? You, from, from your place, you what? You bike here? Yeah, I'll bike it here, get on the bus. Sometimes I'll leave the, walk the bike up by the bank. Yeah. Because that's cameras. But I don't like to do that much. Well, I think I think any suspect around here would pretty much look identical, so it doesn't do that's much true. good. <laughs> so you, you bike it down, the bus stop is here? Across the street, you got the one going north, yeah. and then the other side. You got the one going south, which might go to LA Fitness. However, they're open in a crunch. I'm glad I didn't drop it. Like I said, yeah, they're gonna get remodeled in LA, but they're gonna open a crunch behind the Walmart over that way, which is good. Which Walmart? Over in Boynton, which is on Congress Avenue. The, the Super Walmart? Yeah. That's closer? A little further, but it's like it said, it's gonna be the same amount riding a bus, I mean, as far as money oh. being driven there. How many more do you want, Rob? Uh, can you do two more? Two more? Thank you. Um, Let me wrap them up in plastic so you don't Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Oh, I was going to say that, that strength gym, though, would, is that close enough to where you'd be able to bike it straight there? No. no. I thought about that as far as saving money on bus fare. Because right. bus fare, I'm paying like 20, paying 80 bucks a month. 80? Yeah, when I could be paying 50 for that membership. But like I said, I need to do hack squats, calves, and stuff like that. But. This has got to be a way that you can make you make it work if you think, if you just think about the money you're saving. This has got to be alternative. But I know you're very, very uh, regimented. And like sometimes. We would do legs at LA before Brad's house. Remember, we would yeah. stop to do the other machines. Yeah. Uh, so where do they? Where, well, you, did you get a good enough? Maybe they got new stuff. Did you really see it? I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. Because if you didn't have to pay the bus pass for that, then yeah, you just, exactly. and how many gym memberships are you paying? Just two. But I'm glad. Like I said, I'm glad I didn't do. Cause I went to Crunch last week, and I'm thinking, I went about 11 in the afternoon. There was some girls there, like yeah. you wouldn't believe. We never really went that time. I mean, plus the fact your girl was at the desk, yeah, still there. Yeah, the equipment is 
top notch. You don't get any moving. You know, the leg LA Fitness, you got a leg press seat or a machine. The thing will slide down on you in the middle of the set. Doing two bag eye neck presses. Right, right. The pin just pops right through. Which is real will destroy your back. And I'm thinking, you know, the place is clean, the dumbass, I'd be a fool too. Plus yeah. doing the tanning. And uh, find out they're gonna open one down here. I mean, at 30 a month, I gotta be an idiot. Right. So, which is good, because I still have the guest pass in case you ever wanna go. Yeah. So you got a free membership there. Where? Crunch? Yeah. 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 But. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get back into it. I will say though, I'm in, I'm in better shape now than I was training just because of the thank you sir you too thanks just just because of the amount of physical activity and whatnot yeah. but i i do got to get back in in there so because in other words, you're carrying pack and you're walking upstairs yeah no nothing nothing extreme like that but i mean if you if you got you know say 50 big packages for the day I mean, it's, some, it's just the amount of moving around and stuff, but like right now, I, I just look a lot more toned. But I've also been taking 20 milligrams Anavar, 20 milligrams of Proviron on top of the, the TRT because I just feel like it makes it more effective, you know? But I do notice, and I don't understand why, maybe it's the DHT thing. The Anavar, I do notice, makes me almost have like that trend anger sometimes. Sometimes, really? sometimes, yeah. Very, very low patience, you know? Something like job related, would you say? Oh yeah, I, I snap there all the time. So I, I just saw Brad and I told him it's too bad we couldn't have a podcast and tell these stories now because they would love it. They would absolutely love it, you know? Is it, is it co-workers? Or is it... Yeah, that's the worst part of the job is dealing with the co-workers. Cause you got people- But are you, aren't you pretty much by yourself making a yeah, but for the first couple hours of the day, you're in the office, and then they're, you know, they're calling you all day. So you're technically in the rule book, you're not obligated to answer the phone unless they pay for it. So at one period of time, when I had enough of them, I just, I just blocked them all, so they couldn't contact me, and they couldn't do anything about it, you know. Uh, but uh, I stopped being difficult. So eight, six days a week, eight to eight. That's gotta. Yeah. That's pretty rough. So then your other off day where you think, you know, you'd go grocery shopping and do other things you need to do, you're, you're beat. You just want to, you don't even want to get out of bed. But, um, yesterday I was in a, one of my moods and I was all excited. And I, I called Andrew and I was talking to him about your know, podcast, whatever. And Hey, I know her. Do you? I know you. Well, anyway, Andrew gave me some advice because uh, I said I wanted to get you a nice backdrop, like you know how. Uh, yeah, because when I'm sleeping what? on the side of the street, people won't realize. Let's just bring like, your backdrop. Like Jay said, when I'm living in the uh, <laughs> the bus. As long as you got your backdrop. Yeah, you're good. exactly. They won't yeah. know I'm not living on the bus terminal. You can be on the side. Of the, <laughs> you can be on the side of the highway with the backdrop. Hey, but you know what, Rob? I I talked about doing it, and I may just do it. Give myself three months. Call myself the homeless bodybuilder. And then, hey. and then talk about how I'm gonna go out with no money, yeah. and I'm gonna prove I can go to a gym and eat, and drink yeah. water, and sleep. With Maybe no get money? ooey and gooey. With no money? Yeah, how, it's how a you, nice experiment. How are you gonna eat? It'll. It'll. I'm just going up yeah. to people. Hey, please. I, I'm trying to put on muscle, and I'm homeless. <laughs> you got any protein? Good. Yeah, say, hey, excuse me, I'm 20 grams of carbs short in my macros. Today. <laughs> Stand on the sign. <laughs> I'm three fries short in my macros <laughs> of carbs. Hey, if anyone can do it, you know? Yeah. Oh, I know her. She used to work at the hospital. Delray Medical Center. 
When I see her, I'm going to say, Delray Medical Center. <laughs> So uh, this year's Ruby, you know, you know anyone who competed or no? Not at all. I haven't competed there, if you can call it that, in four years. Yeah. Competing for last you place. You haven't dominated there. In yeah, four I years. dominated last place in my division. I can say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got last place because they, they, I heard they scale it by who's the most cookie cutter gets first place. So. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, look at that. When I see that, I want to puke. Because we used to have to make those in the kitchen. What is it? The a bug, a vegetable burger. And the smell of it literally would induce vomiting. It was horrible. Vegetable burger. <laughs> and you notice how much, there's more and more. Look at this one, the alpha burger, plant-based. That must be for plant-based crispy chicken. So nice of Jay to donate some of his. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, Ming things. Yeah, there's more and more of them. It used to just be a couple of it, but now it's uh, more and more. Even at restaurants now. I went out to eat the other day. They, they a place that I know never did. They had that available on the menu. Well, so. I heard of some terrifying news on the internet. Me too, it's yeah. It's possible that ground beef could be $50 a pound in a few years. Wow. $50? In a few years? Or a year. Yeah. No, I, didn't, I didn't somebody on one of your lives tell you uh, they were in another country that the meat is already, Canada maybe, that the price is already similar to that? Yeah. Speaking of Canada, have you heard from Aladdin at all or no? No, I haven't heard from him. I heard from Big Daddy. I still gotta fill out that passport application, but I'm wondering. I actually have a. Well, I, I I did it, so I can I can guide you through the whole thing. It's did actually, you go to Mexico? No, I didn't go. I didn't go. Right. But I got the passport. Okay. So. So you're um, ready for Thailand? I'm ready. Yeah. At any moment. Yeah. Yeah, me too. That's all good. I'm, I'm one packet of circulars away from saying, you know what, F this, I'm going to Thailand. Hey, it works for Leo. Yeah, yeah. He looks great. I remember Brad was real excited when these Halo tops came out. Huh? He bought a whole bunch of them, but they're pretty lousy. That's because with his actions, he'll never have a halo on top of his head. So <laughs> he's got to somehow... No, he won't say anything, but what about the haunted house or Halloween parties is he going to tonight? Tonight? Did, 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 did he make any mention of that? No, he didn't mention it, but I will tell you one thing. Brad is an absolute trooper. He 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 can he can go to that job on Saturday morning, no sleep, and make it through, which is a feat out in this heat. So Well Beth could do that for it, I guess. Yeah, right, yeah. He he doesn't go that far. <laughs> just a few just a few white claws. <laughs> but I will say he That's it? Well maybe give the, maybe maybe you give the maniacs more of a tour of what to get, what not to get. Like a like a we only have Analyze the things like personal. Yeah. <laughs> Is this alcoholic? It's seasonal ale. Yeah. Shipyard pumpkin head. Just like Jay's pumpkin head. No wonder he's lounging in the pool all day. He's raking in all this money from shipyard pumpkin head sales. <laughs> $9.99. Wow. Like, what do you think of these, uh, these new gluten-free pizzas here that they have. Well, for me, budget and otherwise, Yeah. they look good, they have the great advertising. Yeah. But it just tastes like garbage and it's overpriced, it's pre-packaged. Oh, you know what, let's go over to the eggs. Okay. Let's go over to the eggs. Because that's one thing that I'm, I'm shocked about. Yeah. Right? That's a mom, yeah, triples. I, I used to uh, go sometimes Aldi's, sometimes Publix, sometimes Target. 
Aldi's always had, always, 98 cent eggs. Always, that was the price. Now, it's, uh, I think, three, three something. That's terrifying. For the, I think it's just the, the regular white ones. Would you agree as I do, eggs are the single most perfect beneficial food on earth? Yeah. You yeah. could live on eggs and be healthy and that's it. I take eggs over meat, believe it or not. Wow. Uh, and a food like that in this country that prices go through the roof, to me is just right. mortifying. I was thinking, like I was thinking with how bad it's getting, living off eggs and rice. There she is. Jay Masters used to work in case management, a case of beer. <laughs> Was she ever uh, lucky enough to experience one of your advances or? Yeah, when well, she saw me with another girl, uh, we went to the soil utility rooms where they put the, you know, bloody and linens and stuff sometimes. They smell bad, you know, because older people usually, you know, defecate in bed linen, so we had to put up with the smell, but she watched, and I was doing some, just playing with the girl's tits. Where? <laughs> Where? Look at Jay Masters pumpkin face bag. Where, where were you doing this? In the soiled utility room, which they have one of these nurses. <laughs> soiled utility room. Yes. I, th I think I think that uh, oh, I don't I don't even want. Not a nice place, but it's a place no one's gonna ever walk in. You know what I mean? Yeah. No one wants to go in there. I think a certain someone who will remain nameless, who has someone living in their guest bedroom, renamed it the soiled utility room. <laughs> 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 hey, now I have a good question because, you know, most of this stuff is harmless, at least, you know, when we joke like that. But what about uh, you and Jay filming together? How come he, he refuses there? No, he... I don't know. He's got to drive his ass up here and get me for one. Yeah. Number two, he trains really early in the morning because... You know, he has social anxiety, so he doesn't like being around people. He likes getting there and getting out. Using the bands and the bench blocks. So. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, what's the band supposed to do? Just work the um, stabilizers? I don't think it does, personally. I think it gives you resistance from certain parts of the freeway won't. I think it gives you resistance from shooting yourself in the head knowing you can only put a 25 on. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. 60 pound barbell. That was weird. Huh? But, you right. know, then I was told by a maniac that bands are good for equip lifters, guys who use the bench shirts. And not uh, much else. So what's the point? How come? Oh, oh, I don't understand. Because they work the areas that the shirt doesn't help in as much. Oh, okay. Or something into that nature. And the same thing, obviously, with the knee wraps for squats. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's fine if you're a competitive power lifter, but is he? What, he did one competitive power meet in, what, 30, 40 years? So, and I certainly never will at this point. What, power lifting? Competitive power lifting. We've an Oklahoma drill. Yeah. I mean, just functional strength. You know, as a football player, I'm sure you feel the same way. 
sometimes you just want a guy to get in a stance and just rip into somebody. Yeah, yeah. See what you got. What about this? Spanish River Park Part 2, but instead it'll be you and Jay doing the Oklahoma drill. We could do a series of them. But yeah, like a uh, set up uh, all different competitions. Yeah, we could, but... Tug of War. <laughs> Tug of War. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pulling in a beach whale, you know? Grabbing a whale's tail and pulling it on, pulling it ashore for God knows what. But, you know, I just went, why is his face like a, it's gigantic. And he'll put the camera up and take a picture. It's like, what, who the hell looks like that? Have you, you haven't seen Mr. G, have you? No. I haven't had the pleasure. Well, they wouldn't allow you in the senior center anyway, so you <laughs> Have you seen him? No, I'm only playing. He's... I think he goes to Busy Body Gym. I'm surprised I haven't seen him honestly, and uh, I actually tried reaching out to him a few times because I did I I did feel bad for not for what we did going back and forth with him because come on we were promoting a fight, but I did feel bad that he doesn't understand trolling and he thinks it's me and you going on making accounts, leaving these reviews. He has no idea how it works, so I felt bad for that, you know, because I'm I'm not somebody who would do something like that, but uh, no avail, no avail. But how about Colombo? He said you're welcome anytime you reach out. Yeah, well, we get a good topic. Yeah. I, pretty soon he's gonna have his guests look like Hollywood, Hollywood squares, you know, with all those contestants. Yeah, the 30 Brady. up just sit there and no, nobody saying anything. The, the Brady Bunch, except they could call yeah. it the Shady Bunch. <laughs> the Shady Bunch. Make sure you have your Palumbo test kit when you buy from these guys. <laughs> but, uh... You, did you watch the episode with that Ryan Root character? He was... Yeah. I, I saw him on a podcast with Matt Cox, who does a lot of podcasts. Excellent podcast. Yeah, yeah. So I saw that podcast, and I said, oh, that'd be a good... Too, right? That'd be a good. Uh, okay. That'd be a good guess. So I actually got in contact with him, and I put him in contact with Dave, and then Dave had him on the show, and it kind of backfired because that guy Richard didn't like him too much. Because <laughs> Richard wanted the title yeah, of the yeah. world's sleaziest, <laughs> most criminally <laughs> inclined steroid dealer ever yeah like right. you being so i used to make this kind of money right you were right. making peanuts next man come on yeah that's uh i didn't agree with that the poor guy too he's a like, rich go back and do another 10 years then yeah the poor guy he's a nice humble guy too so he just kind of sat there and took it you know but i didn't know you you realize i i don't think you go on them much but those forms that people talk about remember the guy we filmed him in the locker room telling us about these forums yeah, yeah. And Boston has a forum. So I had no idea that the guys who are on there as, you know, sources make that kind of money. 20 grand a week or whatever he said, even more than that. I had no idea. That's crazy. It's pretty good. So that's all you got to get, right? Yeah. What about stuff for your salads or whatever? I'm, I'm pretty I'm good. Like I said, I got to come back tomorrow and Sunday because... Try to use the bathroom after the gym, after the bus, so I'll come in and run away. Get a little of time, you know. It's a cultured dairy beverage. Ooh. Yeah, that looked good. I think they just have a, a factory of Mexicans and they all come in those little bottles and package them up all day. <laughs> Ooh, culture. What the hell does that mean? Have you been, uh, I don't want to say his name. You know what was fascinating to me? That guy Armand? Yeah. Saying that he was getting paid $3,500 to, to be a male gigolo? Yeah. Hey, if you're listening, Armand, please send me... <laughs> How do I sign up? <laughs> well, I mean, that all sounds good. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, damn well. 
And I can mention if I don't want to say their names either, but there's a lot of men involved, mostly men involved with that. Ooh. Rich men. And our man, the way he talked the other, you know, with that, he said something like, oh man, that was really far out. Like he used to say, <laughs> it's like, shh. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what you think it was mainly? I think so. The majority. So, I find that hard to believe. In other words, Palumbo should introduce him as the pickle tickler? Basically, yeah. This is the only one I, I did bring this one for you because I haven't used it. Well, experiment, Rob, like I oh, said. Oh, you haven't been taking it. I haven't been, but it's, it's not saying I never do, never will, you know? You sure? Yes. I'm going to see how oh. I do it with and without it. That's from, oh, you know what? Good thing uh, that brings it up. The guy who helped us with the pre-workout yeah. from Flex Appeal, Mass uh, Massachusetts, they started a, a huge gym down there. It's called Ultra Flex. Where? Saug uh, I think it's Saugus, Massachusetts. Saugus. Oh, okay. See, yeah. See and us. there's already videos on it touring the place. And man, that, that place is beautiful. So he was ac actually asking me to uh, have you give it a shout out in one of your lives. But, Thank uh, you very much yeah. for the stim junkie. Now I can know what it feels like to be <laughs> pumpkin face J Masters oh. and take caffeine. I just want to do how see how I feel as far as pump goes, alertness, yeah, yeah, and what yeah. have you, and see if it makes my heart beat without training, which isn't good. But thanks. Well, I would definitely do at half a scoop, yeah. you know, because that that. And one... Rob, there's all been inquiries. Yeah. Is it true that there's still weird energy no gone uh, i had all of them in my car yeah along with a laptop that i just bought for 350 dollars. Uh, i had uh, a whole bag full of all my syringes all my stuff from amino asylum like those l-carnitine those b12s everything and they you would think they would give you some sort of, they would call you and say, hey, we got your car, but if you want your stuff, nothing. Everything gone. Gone. And whoever took the car, they saw that all those weird energies had an autograph on it. Yeah. So obviously they're worth, there's some sort of value to them, you know what I mean? Yes, maniacs. And if anybody has an unopened weird energy, hold on to that. Yeah. Because now you heard it officially, they're gone. Yeah, I well. I thought there might be some salvageable, but unfortunately they're gone. Unfortunately, the car has been south. <laughs> but can you can you believe that though? That with the laptop, it doesn't surprise me. I heard people say that when their car is impounded, those impound workers would steal anything in there. Yeah. So someone's sitting. Someone's sitting. People check. They should check eBay. Because what do you think? The, he, there must have been at least eighty of them in there. Yeah. So what is the person doing with them? Good point. So. Anybody that knows the whereabouts of those, contact the local branch office of the FBI. <laughs> I can see why Brad takes Uber when he goes to those honky tonks and comedy clubs. He's probably had a situation where his car got impounded. Yeah. And they took his stash. So I see he's smartened up a bit. Um, what else? Oh, the the order, the stuff that we ordered from uh, Palumbo. It's that one. Of course, like a true friend of Palumbo, I didn't beg him, Dave, Dave, can I have some free stuff? Free stuff, I just paid for it and didn't even use the discount code. Rob, I'll say one thing, you're loyal to the core. And these are some great supplements, Fiberlize. I can't recommend it enough. Yeah. Better than Metamucil. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, and the, the fruit punch flavoring that adds to it is perfect. Perfectly mass, mass taste. Something to look forward to. Dave, you're a genius. And um, you should probably be the world's best fiber, fiber supplement, in my opinion. He has no idea that I'm even we're even doing this right now, but I really mean the only thing with the fiber lies, the one thing I will say is Make sure you go to the bathroom before you leave your house because I shit my pants in the car. <laughs> but hey, I had to overdo it. I took like three scoops my first time and the next morning 
I was dropping somebody off at uh, their job and I'm like, oh man, I, I better make it to a bathroom. Well, long story short, those trousers were as dirtier than the trapeze floor. <laughs> so. Does that ever happen on the mail route? Huh? We have to go? Uh, it does, yeah. Sometimes you, yeah. Uh, but there's, there's, there's bathrooms around. If there's not, I'm not gonna say how to do it because these assholes but uh and that mail truck is not air conditioned correct no and it's no the, the the metal or whatever just traps heat in there like you wouldn't believe inside of it is probably like 105 god but even worse and it's hot now some of the mail rooms that you go into some have like uh boxes you stand outside and but not regular mailboxes for apartments boxes that you stand outside some of them have rooms that aren't ventilated at all that it's got to be 115 in there but um yeah so one recommendation dave that i do have is with the fiber lies i would include a pack of adult diapers because it is dangerously good and dangerously effective i will Thank say you. and then now there's something up with my protein supplement i'm going to get to the bottom of it eventually but for now, that no one. For now, that one's great. I, I uh, so got to carbolize, which yeah. is always great post workout. Get the carbs in there very quickly. Yeah. And the uh, cinnamon donut. Have you ever seen that flavor before? No, I've never tried it. No, it's great. And um, the good thing about it is that these fat asses who seem to frequent. Krispy Kreme at 6 a.m. every morning for their donut fix, they can have a healthier choice by going to species.com, DavePalumbo.com, and get your cinnamon donut protein. But no, really, uh, the carbolized way you'd, mi you'd mix, I never used carb shakes before. You mix that in with the protein? Yeah. And you could have it with, in a shaker cup, dry. Yeah. I never recommend pre mixing water as things degrade right but like i said it's doing experimenting doing our own evaluation does everybody do it i eliminate certain vitamins and you go back to me see if there's any differences yeah you find out for yourself and I, w I will say one thing and lenny i'm sure that you'll agree um i'm i dave never obviously he would never ask an, a schmuck like me to do something like this for him but i just a i schmuck I, like you rob <laughs> well, you got the world at your fingertips <laughs> well uh, you just need a little more free time on the on your employment right and a little more focus but i'm 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 just need saying a little break from those hours yeah definitely need a break from the hours but I, i'm just saying i hate seeing him being bashed because you know i've he's never done anything wrong to me and no he, and he Dave Palumba is a legend. Look at his physique. Exactly. He, he'll help you to get to that, wherever you want to go quickly. Anybody saying anything negative to Dave Palumbo, I have one thing to say to you. Go to Triple H and ask him if he wants you to be his trainer and nutritionalist and see what he says. Yeah. And then talk about Dave Palumbo. Because that's a feat right there. Right. But anyway. Uh, ask Triple H why he copied off my look after I got the beard and the bald head well originally I, I think originally mcleod was the originator of the look and then he he loaned it to you and then triple h unfortunately got a hat hand it to adam mcleod the modern day winston churchill whatever he touches turns to gold right and if you touch him you may tear a muscle so look out unlike a certain somebody where everything they touch turns to chicken shit <laughs> That's pretty much been, unfortunately, the rule, but. Well, oh, Rob, it was good to see you. I tell you what, it's like a breath of fresh air you coming back. Reminds me of the old days. And like the maniacs want to know, what's your future as far as Robzilla? Which means, you know, the internet future. Well. The World Wide Web, as they call it. You know, I've been against a nine to five my whole entire life doing just nine a, to five you're doing an eight to eight an eight to eight <laughs> but i i've been a, against the idea of a nine to five would be cake <laughs> yeah it would be what cake you're doing. It would be cake i've been against the idea of uh, a normal job i guess i would say you know security i had options i can 
work wherever I wanted to work, but when I was doing stuff on the internet, when we were doing stuff, I always kind of found a way to do things on my own, pull things out of my ass, but everybody says, oh, post office, great job, great job. I'm realizing that if I have to wake up and do this every day for the next 20 something years, it's a miserable life. It's not worth it. So. Are you referring to a certain someone that remained nameless? No, because you know why he's so miserable. No, because some pe everybody's there. Some people need that that root that structure. Some people need that routine, and then there's some people who need to do something different every once in a while. They start to get bored real fast, and you know I think it there's something to it. Doesn't everyone at the end of the day want to be Brad? I've heard that, you know, Adam McLeod, all of us, even me. Yeah. We all want to be Brad at the end of the day, deep down. Just everything about him, you know. Well, I guess I haven't dug that deep. The girl, in... <laughs> the taco queen, the estate. You got the home gym. You got the, you got the booze. You got the smokes. You got the pills and the perks and the bennies. Well, I've never seen him in any any of the other stuff besides the booze maybe. Well, talking about the perks of the job that's what oh the per yeah, yeah but he's 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 went through, what i'm going through right now he went through it as well everybody does so yeah. he's earned his he's earned his spot i mean he said i think that he set up a, a decent life for himself so i can't well why don't he set up a decent podcast at bradford manor in that brand new air-conditioned room with the pool table in it and the dartboards you know when brad has a if you got a dartboard and a pool table, believe me, there's some heavy boozing going on in that room. Well, he, uh, he maintains. He maintains. Uh, I don't. I don't know what to say. I don't. I don't want to say nothing but positive things. But you know, a podcast w would be nice. I do miss that. I mean, hey, if any of the maniacs can work on getting getting a backdrop set, and then I can come help you set that up. Yeah. You, not that that's the, the main ingredient right now, but at least a Zoom podcast, I think we needs to be resumed as soon as possible. And every uh, certain people that the maniacs are going to say, oh, would they let so-and-so on? Absolutely. Yeah, there's certain uncertain times in the world. Times are going to change. Yep. And people need a podcast and, and a great interaction, which luckily my big Lenny lives do we get a feedback from maniacs around the world right which we need at this point it's right. very uncertain you know mm -hmm. companies are here today gone tomorrow very uncertain and working um around quote unquote ordinary people or just being around other people you realize yeah you just realize like how I don't know the right words to say it, but like how different this whole Genova verse is. And, you know, we should all kind of be bonded and stick together a little bit more instead of going against each other. Because think of it this way. If we were all, say, a freaking nuclear bomb dropped and there was only a couple survivors left on the planet and one of them was one of your fellow misfits, regardless of whatever problems you had before, that's... He, that's one of your brothers right there so there's no reason for i'm gonna probably cut this part out because i don't know what the fuck i'm saying but all right rob well it's good seeing you again and hopefully <laughs> yeah. we'll meet again soon before the year's out of course leonard thanks again all right Appreciate it.